and welcome to Taiga Media News, Season 2, Episode 7. Today we have a lot of topics to talk about. First of all, we would like to talk about the safety of our AASD pool. Do you swim often in our school pool? Yeah, who doesn't? How do you feel about swimming at your own risk? I don't know. I feel a little paranoid when I was swimming for the first time in the school pool. Now, let's hear it from the man who knows it the best, Aryan Sinha. Hello everybody, today I'll be talking to you about the swimming pool. Is the swimming pool safe at AISD? The swimming pool is open at open hours, obviously, but it states that swimming at your own safety in the rules. Rule number one, no lifeguard on duty, swimming at your own risk. Even though younger students need adult supervision and older students need to pass a test before swimming by themselves, this has some risk in it. I'm still sure that our school takes every step for the best safety in our school. I totally trust our school, but the swimming pool says, no lifeguard, swim at your own risk. The rest, I leave this question to your wisdom to decide how safe is our swimming pool. Thank you for listening to me, and I hope you have a great day. So Dean, did you eat anything from North End today? No, why? It's been said that North End might be banned for MS students, because students are eating or drinking too many beverages containing lots of sugar. Some of them have also been late to class because they were grabbing a snack from North End. Interesting. Students should be more careful the way they use their privileges. Now let's hear it from the expert himself, Bihan. Cut. North End Coffee Roasters, a hangout place and refreshment hub for many of the MS students. Every single MS student has access to this coffee shop, and all of us have grown accustomed to drinking and eating their foods. Lately, though, some students have been abusing this privilege. I asked Mrs. Zimmerman some questions about this. Okay, what do you think about some MS students being late for their classes or the bus because they were buying North End? Well, I think it's a problem because it interrupts class and it can affect uh, students' learning because they're missing time from class or the teacher has to restart. So I think we definitely need to look at another solution. So do you think there might be a chance of like North End being banned until like lunch? So we could only buy at lunch? Um, I know that so I've heard some people talking about the possibility of maybe not during the school day. So that you could go to North End before or after school, but not during class times or even lunches. Because I think people are also concerned about nutrition. And I'm not sure how many parents are also worried about the expense that they're paying every week towards North End um, treats and such. Uh, do you think that privileges like North End are good when they are used properly? Absolutely. Be learning to be responsible is something that you'll need lifelong, so it's a lifelong skill. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Hasso, where did you go for class trips? I'm Dean. We're in the same grade. Oh yeah, totally forgot. Did you even have a class? Yeah, I did. I wonder what everyone else thought about the trip. Well, let's go to Avia and Hasa to listen about the 7th grade trip and some feedback from their peers. The class trips for the 7th graders this year was a blast. All of us tried new things and had new experiences which were really fun. These were some of the activities. The students had to do lots of team building activities. One of the activities were trust tests, which was a really fun activity to do. It helped them trust each other more. The one activity that everyone struggled was the trekking. Trekking helped the students get more active and they also learned how to use the compass. An activity that all of the students did together was painting the walls at a nursery. It was really fun and tiring. We ended up painting all the walls and they looked really good. The same day we went to a temple and got strings tied to us. They give you good luck and protection. We also played capture the flag and fed fish. For one of the activities we went to caves and climbed rocks. It was tiring but exciting and fun at the same time. We also went inside caves which were really cold and saw bats. We also repelled down the rocks after we finished zip lining across and climbing the rocks. I went and asked a few people who went on the 7th grade trip what they thought of it. First I interviewed Jackson and he said that his favourite part of the trip was zip lining. One thing that could have been improved was the food. One thing that he didn't like was the trek because it was long and hot. The thing that he missed the most was the companionship and the fun they had. The most fun thing was rock climbing. 
I also asked Arwen and she said that her favourite part of the trip was ziplining. She didn't think that there was anything wrong with the trip and she liked everything. She definitely misses the little playground and the field that we would all go at the end of the day to just relax. All of it was fun, even the 10k trek. Most of the grade liked ziplining and missed the free time we had when we could be with our friends. People said that trekking could have been approved, but it was overall fun. Dean, did you lose a couple of pounds? I have, thanks for noticing. How did you do it? I just stopped eating the food from North End. I thought North End was healthy. Well, after researching, I found that the food from North End does more harm than good. Now let's hear more about the question. Is North End healthy or not? From Dean, hey that's me. Audio jungle. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dean and welcome to Tiger News. Today I am going to be talking about a very interesting topic. Is food at North End healthy? Now, let's start. A cafe with healthy and unhealthy options. The healthy options include fruit juices and the bagels. The juices are healthy, but the bagel might not be as healthy as you thought. For example, it has very little protein, almost no fiber, and is completely lacking in vitamins. So for you to have a a healthy breakfast, you can not only eat a bagel, you also have to eat more nutritious foods on the side. Because of this, I can conclude that there are only two healthy options at North End. The juice, Super Power Punch, and the other juice, the I Am Real 100% Pineapple Juice. Now, let's weigh in the unhealthy foods. Starting us off are cookies. Next is brownies, and making its way to worst of all, the iced and hot drinks. The hot drinks, by which I mean coffee or caffeinated drinks are not as bad as the cold ones regarding sugar content but the large amount of caffeine inside makes kids jittery and they can't pay attention in class as i said previously the cold drinks or non-caffeinated drinks are a lot worse health-wise for example the chocolate fredo it has as much sugar as a, as a coke producing a puzzling question why is school not not allowed to sell coke but they can sell something just as bad well that's all I have for today, and as always, thanks for watching. Go. Have you ever tried that for track and field? Nah, too many morning practices. That's not always a bad thing. Well, what's your third opinion from a track athlete himself, Peyton? Okay, hi guys, my name is Osage. This is Hi guys, my name is Peyton. This is Osage. He runs track for the AISD Dhaka Tigers. Which practice do you prefer? The morning practice or the afternoon practice? Um the after school practice because I get more sleep the day before and there's still time left over to do my homework. Does morning practice does having morning practice make it easier to get your homework done? Oh uh, yes it does because instead of having maybe Three hours to do my homework, I have five. What do you think about having three morning pack what do you think about having three morning practices compared to one? Um I don't really like it. I like having two and two because I like when everything's equal, but it's not my decision. Thank you for coming. Segment eight. Oh. Well, we're going to have some more about North End. Please welcome Adina to tell us more about this topic. Hey, my topic is about how North End could be a healthier option. Well, we're going to have some more about that topic from Adina. Good. Is North End good for you? The things in North End taste great and keeps you energized and hyper. It's not a healthy choice, but it's good occasionally. In AISD, middle schoolers can get anything from North End other than caffeinated beverages. Having that rule keeps students controlled so they don't go and buy coffee that's bad for them. High schoolers can get coffee because they have a lot more work and they need a lot more energy. Are you ready? Yep. Segment 9, go. Hasa, did you try out for soccer? 
No, but I heard it was an exciting tournament. It sure was, especially when the ARSD Tigers won it all on penalties. Let's not give too much away, because I'm sure Megan has more to share about DSA soccer. over the season because we've like improved on our shooting, communicating and passing and I think it's really cool how we can just learn that really easily. working on kicking the ball hard and striking and we've been progressing really well and fast. We have improved a lot in the sense of spreading out and helping each other and staying in their positions and passing and all that. We have improved from just being all in one place to being in different places in the right time. Thank <laughs> you. 